boys and girls. Miss Samantha here and I'm so excited to be with you another week. Are you excited to be with us another week? I know I am and I'm ready to have so much fun. Are you ready to have fun? I can't hear you. Are you ready to have some fun? Awesome. But first I need you to do a few things to get ready to have some fun like wiggle your fingers, stand up for worship. Are you standing up? Okay, I think we're ready. So on the count of three, repeat after me, DJ drop the beat. Okay, one, two, three. DJ drop the beat.
I love to worship Jesus. When we worship Jesus, we draw closer to Him. Isn't that awesome? I think so. Okay, well today we're going to continue the fun and learn from God's Word together. Do you want to learn from God's Word with me? Awesome. Okay, today we're going to learn about Jesus walking on water. Based out of Matthew 14, verse 22 through 36. Are you ready to learn about Jesus walking on water? Let's take a listen. Jesus had been teaching crowds of people by the Sea of Galilee. It was getting late, so he told his disciples to get into the boat and go to the other side of the sea. Jesus sent the crowds away and went up on the mountain to pray by himself. That evening, the boat was far from the shore. The wind blew and the waves tossed the boat around. Jesus was still on the mountain alone. Around three in the morning, Jesus came toward his disciples walking on the sea. When the disciples saw Jesus, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they cried. Right away, Jesus spoke to them, have courage, it's me, do not be afraid. Peter answered, Lord, if it really is you, tell me to come to you on the water. So Jesus said, come. Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water toward Jesus. But when Peter saw how strongly the wind was blowing, he was afraid. Peter began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed Peter. Jesus said, you have little faith. Why do you doubt? They got into the boat and the wind stopped. Then everyone in the boat worshiped Jesus and said, truly, you are the son of God. Jesus proved that he can be trusted. His miracles, teaching, death, and resurrection show that he is who he says he is. Only Jesus can save us when we look to him in faith. What a story, boys and girls. God's word is so powerful. The more you read it, the more you learn to understand it. And when you understand it, the more you learn to love it. I love studying God's Word. In today's story, we saw how Jesus showed His glory to the disciples by walking on water. Have you ever walked on water? I know I haven't walked on water. But here's another question. If Jesus asked you to walk on water, like He did Peter, would you do it? I wish I can say yes right now, but I don't know. I think like Peter, I would be afraid to do it. But boys and girls, can we be honest? Sometimes in life, things happen. Like our mom and dad separate or our friends make fun of us. And when those things happen, our eyes get taken off of Jesus and onto basically our problems in life. And like Peter, when we take our eyes off of Jesus, we begin to sink. And boys and girls, one thing I want to remind you of is to keep your eyes on Jesus. So this week, can we do that? Can we, in the midst of our problems, can we choose to keep our eyes on Jesus? I think we can. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this moment, Lord. I thank you that, Lord, when we draw near to you, you draw near to us, oh God. And I thank you that even when things, bad things are happening, oh God, like the winds and waves of life are coming, Lord, we, when we keep our eyes on you, Lord, you will help us, oh God. So I just pray that right now, Lord Jesus, you would just help us to keep our eyes fixed on you no matter what comes our way. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. Come back next week, and don't forget to have your parents follow us on all social media platforms to continue the fun. Have a good week!